Good morning, coffee. So hello, good morning. Uh, today I want to try and do some more experimental like ink work, brush work and things like this. I've just had a go at this one but I've, I'm not really happy with it to be honest. Um, the bottom jaw just looks like a dick or a dildo or something daft so <laughs> um, <laughs> it's just it's just popping out <laughs> so um, but I was just trying a different sort of techniques and that like um, splattering on wet ink there and uh, white splatters and brushwork I like the brushwork that looks like hairs um, disappearing off that side so it's not all a total failure it's just experimenting with different ways of working so I'm gonna try and do another one but on camera but try and make it a bit more tighter tight tightly inked if you know what I mean um, and just more planning on what I'm doing so I'm gonna just take a I'm gonna move that to the side actually it's still a bit wet um, I'm gonna try straighten this camera up a bit there we go. So I'm just going to lightly sketch something when it's not going blurry. Got this autofocus on, but when I take it off, it still goes like that. You okay now? No, is it fuck? So let's try again. Um, still thinking of like a wolf's head. It would be better if I just sketch it. Sketch and plan. That's the idea. the uh, bottom jaw looking like a dick or all. <laughs> Jesus um, try anyway well have all these hairs just go in there So I've got like a rough draft here and what I want to do here is all darkness and other sort of ink effects maybe going in on the background. Don't know, just make it up as we go along and just experiment with the ink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some Windsor and Newton ink and they spilled it then Jesus I forgot the top was loose <laughs> not going well today so I've got a thin brush put that lid over there and I want to just go off uh, some thin um, ink lines Just using it straight from the bottle. I can just try and clean up a few of these pencil lines as I'm going along. I 
week. Yeah. Thinly ink these ears. I was going in that eye. Try and get some cool looking frown lines and extra bits of detail. Lines. I'm going to add some thicker ones. And eventually this becomes quite experimental uh, once I you know, just finish adding these thicker, well, thinner lines. somewhere quite possibly thought it was best to add it somewhere as far as the thin sort of ink goes I'm going to use a thicker brush now for a lot of the darker areas which I want to add straight in the bottle what I'm going to have to get for that a little pot is a little um, little dip pen or something and just try and do something like that let me water this down a bit The thing about this is it dries pretty quickly, so and it soaks into the paper a bit. It's the only downside to it. Just add a bit more water there. Jump a bit. this you know at the back of the wolf's head to be all sort of dark in the background the the hairs on the wolf so I am just experimenting really I'm not really showing you any techniques or anything um, I'd just like to explore this a bit more and just see. Just make that darker on the bit there, like just letting the bottom jar just stand out a bit.
some, some darker areas. Back of that ear there. I'll go in and add some highlights later on, I think. Some white highlights and grey. some areas I'm not really happy with some of them bits there water it down slightly so I have got some white here I'll just put a lid on the that one yeah, I've got some white I can start adding just at the back. It's not a very good acrylic white, but it'll do. this slightly grey, like a lighter grey, that's what I wanted. Thin some of that out a bit. And then I can extend some of that into the, the black. Some of this ink it, um, it sort of seals the paper, so you can paint directly, you know, directly on top of it. So that's a good thing. I think in time I'll be working on maybe gessoed paper or something like that. So a lot of the materials won't sink through the paper. Then I can work with it a bit more. That thick gessoed paper is ideal. I think I need to get some. Try and just add little dabs of white here and there. Experiment with it. use a fine line ink pen. These are waterproof so you don't have to worry about getting them wet because they won't bleed or anything. So I can quickly ink these teeth in. it stand out a bit more maybe add some other details lands cross hatching that's usually when you start to see a drawing or an ink drawing come alive sort of thing you just add little areas areas of interest Sometimes you only have to scribble the crosshatch lines in. Just zoom in slightly, add some more crosshatching. Scribbly crosshatching.
add in more lines for the hairs. I suppose the more you add, the better it can do to try and go with the dark areas that you've already painted. Jaw bit mouth area there, and then in here, I think we'll just not a cross hatching shadow. Still added more like details over the top. You know, one of the things um, is just occurred to me that um, when I was slightly younger drawing, I'd never, I'd be too scared to go over the drawing or, you know, add some layers over the top for fear it wouldn't work or anything like that. But I think you've got to do that. You've got to treat your drawing as it's, you know, got layers to it. Now I've seen other artists and they paint the background first, maybe they do like a watercolour background and then they start to paint the thing over the top when it's dry, you know, or do like the main subject. Um, that's something that I'd like to do. Um, but yeah, so once you've laid on most of the material, don't be scared to go back in and just ink, just add ink over the top because it can add can add a different uh, layer to it, a different uh, depth to the drawing. It's a little tip for the day. <laughs> See, as well as adding these thin lines, I could just go in and add some thick lines. They don't really show up until you look real close. There we go. But I think the help adds a layer to the drawing anyway. Just don't want to do go over the top with it and you know things like that. So I've got a Copic marker now. I just want to highlight a lot of these black, well not black teeth. I mean back teeth. You know the teeth at the back. Um, just to help separate them from. Um, well, just to help you know make them show up a bit more. Really, I still think that um, drawing with lots of different media can just help your drawings. You can add different effects with, you know, different media and stuff like that, and all in one drawing. I think it's certainly interesting just to see uh, the layers of stuff that you can add I need to refill this one up Let's get the W5 yeah these are these are lasting these copic refills just refill up a bit a bit more there.
do a bit of a grey colour on the top there. Help separate the rest of it. Little fingerprint there, but not to worry. Usually get that with these. <laughs> I can probably go over that bit. Now I'm just thinking there, uh, this drawing, it looks, it reminds me of the wolf from the never ending story. The first film, the best one. Um, Glamorg. It looks like it's um, sort of like screaming or howling at the nothing. All the darkness in the background. Yeah, looks sort of like it. That was unintentional really, I was just going to do like a wolf thing, but yeah, I suppose it could be. <laughs> um, yeah. Teeth are correct, but yeah, I suppose it does look a bit like it. But I'm liking the way this is going. Hmm, don't know what else I can add to it. But let's see. So I've just masked off the wolf's head area, I want to do some splatter work. I'm going to splatter some black. And let's get some on the brush. A little uh, makeup brush, like. <laughs> so I used a splatter. So I think it's ideal for splattering paint. And I'll just use the end of a, a brush just to flick it. if it goes on the table. I asked. <laughs> right. Right. The splatters. So I've got a bit there, add a nice splatter effect. I can never get the splatter effects right, or how I want them really, but I don't know how to just do a bit on the wolf. Don't know why I blocked it off anyway. We do like a fine, fine pieces. So comparing this one to the original that I started, I mean both are different pieces, this one's more darker, but I do like this one, it's just, I don't like the chin, there's a bit of red there from the paintbrush, um, yeah, just didn't like the chin, but still, it's a good effort, um, it was an experiment that I quite liked, except for the chin, uh, yeah, but refining the drawing, it really helps. You know, if you start off with an idea, then approach it in a different way. Yeah, this could work. It's not perfect drawing. Experimental in places, but I'd rather experiment than, um, you know, just do something the way I've always done it. Because um, it'll be the same sort of way of working and things like that. But yeah, I could add more to this. But I think I'll just leave it there for now. So, I will be working on some little sketches which I'll show you later on, because it's still early in the day, so I'm not going to end the vlog here. Um, yeah, so this camera needs charging up anyway, so I'll go and do that. And yeah, I'll do some sketches and I'll show you what I've done. So I've been doing some sketches here and there, um, working on like a zombie head idea. Um, Possibly for 
a horror art print or just ideas for the Inktober video series. Um, yeah, I quite like it. I've been working on this one more than these other two. But that's just like the zombie um, skull sort of idea. I don't know whether to add loads of hair to it. I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, this one is like um, a spider thing. I was, I did start off doing the like a spider baby um, thing, but I just changed the the head um, there on the the spider leg, and you know, it's got pretty much no body, just like a head right in the middle. Um, but when I do draw the spider baby in the I think that's the first one on the list. Yeah, it is. Um, for the Inktober video series. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'll be doing... I'll be giving it a body, um, but like a baby's head just stuck on the front of it. <laughs> so it should look pretty cool, I think, and just a good idea. I've seen some like Halloween um, like prop um, sculpture things created and uh, that... that that was the inspiration behind that as well so because i i'm part of like facebook groups and things like that and i just uh i was just inspired by it actually the one that i saw um i don't know who created it to be honest I'll, I'll have to find out and properly credit the person who was inspired me when i start to draw it but it was uh it was quite good it looked like a, a doll's head from an actual um doll and then it looked like a real baby face on it and then it's been uh, sort of like rotted up um, and painted and thing and it looked real good with his spider legs and a, a body on it as well like yeah so anyway I did just a, a separate drawing um, here so like the legs are real small at the front and then they get slightly bigger and the bigger middle leg there and you know that's a start it's just a sketch really i ain't done too much with it but i quite like it i suppose now this one i was uh, gonna draw like a zombie on top of someone it's probably just a horror art print idea you can't really see it with that daylight lamp um glaring in the way but there's the head he's got sort of a spud head at the moment which i haven't really fleshed out to be honest he's got no arm there but he's got another arm there and i did think about like um coming from here maybe like loads of flesh and blood just like he's really ripping out someone's throat or something there's a head there but i've done a bit too big there i think um unless i work in some forced perspective into it um i could work that out a bit more i don't know yeah i think i've you know, just wasted time thinking about these ideas and not really developing them much. Um, also, I was thinking about doing other types of designs and things like that. And also writing plans for other videos. And I did a quick video today. Um, it's like five quick ways to stay motivated in art. Uh, which was useful but I, I want to do a video that expands more on them things that I mentioned and maybe add some more into it I'm not really good at sort of teaching or something like that but I can just hopefully relay some advice here and there so yeah I'm gonna leave this vlog there for now and hopefully tomorrow I really want to do like a proper drawing you know where I just do from start to finish instead of doing like snippets here and there maybe do, you know do one tomorrow and maybe some more painting as well i really want to do some more of that um because i love painting actually it's uh I'm, I'm i feel like i'm learning a bit more about it as well so that's a good thing and yeah um what's going to come up in the future is i, I want to every time I try and draw in perspective I, I feel like I don't get it right so I need to practice um, methods of perspective and stuff I've got a few books and that I need to go through and maybe if I can try and crack that I can do a couple of videos about it 
because I think that will really make my artwork pop a bit. I can draw them different angles and all sorts and yeah, it really um, had a fresh view to my artwork as well. So yeah, so I'm going to leave that there. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers now.